Hi everyone, this is Paul Asadorian with the Stogie Geeks here for Stogie Geeks 101, how to refill your lighter. There's a couple of tips and tricks that I wanted to tell everyone about, about how to refill your lighter. It's kind of scary at first, it's kind of confusing, lighters don't often come with instructions, so this video will walk you through how to refill your lighter. Because there's nothing worse than when you get to lighting your favorite cigar, and you flick open your lighter, and you go to light it, and nothing happens. That means it's likely out of fluid. So what you want to do first is the most important thing, and there's a lot of people that tell you tips and tricks about putting it in the freezer or the refrigerator. You don't need to worry about any of that. You want to bleed the air out of it. It's inevitable that air is going to get inside the lighter. I don't know how, I'm not a scientist, but I do know that when you bleed the air, you need some kind of tool. Um, this little tool is kind of like a metal flame-shaped thing. I don't even remember where I got it. You can use uh, a lot of different things. This tends to be uh, one of the, my favorite tools to use to bleed the air out of the lighter. Uh, so you need some kind of tool. A draw poker will work. A very small screwdriver. Also, the Zycar scissors also have a little tool on there to bleed the air as well. So once you have one of those little tools in hand, you take it on the inside, uh, the bottom of the lighter, uh, usually inside where the flame adjustment is, there's a little valve. And what you want to do is get the tool, stick it on in there, and you can hear, let me see if I can get it close to the mic, you can hear the air coming out. Now notice I'm holding the lighter, I'll hold it down here for this camera, holding the lighter so that the valve is facing up. Okay, it's facing up at me. What I want to do when I bleed the lighter is turn it the other way, and let gravity do its job. And let's see if this is going to work and not make a fool out of me. Ah, see, you can hear there's more air. So I want to make sure I get all of the air out of that lighter, okay, till it's empty. I'm holding it upright. So gravity's working with me to get all of the air out of that lighter. Then I want to take some fluid. And you'll notice, I'll put this up here in the front uh, so you can see it. You'll notice I've got the can upside down. Okay, so that when I take the cap off, where I'm going to fill it from is here. Because what you don't want to do, if the can's the other way, this way, you've got all the air in the top. So what I always like to do is let my can rest for even just a couple of seconds to make sure that all of the fluid has pushed any air to the other side of the can. That way, when I go fill my lighter, what I'm going to do is put that inside of the valve. And, you're gonna, and the biggest question is, how do you know when it's truly full? The answer is you listen. So when I push down, it's going to put butane inside my lighter. And you hear how it stopped. You hear like a little hissing sound. When that stops, that means I can't put any more butane in it. And then you want to just hit it a couple more times to cap it off. Okay, kind of pushes the air around in there. You can see the ones that have a clear reservoir. You can actually see that process happening. Um, and you can see when you first fill it up, it's going to fill it up about almost like maybe uh, three quarters of the way. And then it's going to stop. Then you push it in again. And it usually fills it up the rest of the way. Now, that cold fluid going in um, probably means that your lighter is not going to light on the first try. Um, it lit on the second try for me, and now my lighter is working wonderfully, and I've got a full tank of butane. Um, so some lighters, are the smaller ones especially, you're going to want to let those warm up a little bit before you try and, and fire them after you fill it. Um, in all of the lighters, regardless of the type, I mean, it's the same process. I'm just going to bleed the air until it's all the way out, even this large lighter right here. Now, this one's going to take a little longer to fill up. And I'm just going to repeat the process. And then you can hear it stop. Hit it a couple more times. And that's it. And your lighter is full. So that's how you fill up your lighter. There's really, uh, you know, not a whole lot to it. But a couple of tips and tricks will keep your lighters nice and full. I to fill them a lot more easily. Also, your fluid will last a lot longer if there's no air inside of the chamber. You have that problem where maybe you've tried to fill it in the past. And you're like, well, I only lit one or two cigars. And then my lighter is empty again. With this method, by bleeding the air and uh, making sure that it's good and full, your lighter will last you much, much longer so that you can light a lot more cigars without having to worry about filling it. And as you can see, this lighter is working very well. I'm going to light my cigar. And that's that. Thanks, everyone, for watching Stoey Geeks 101. We'll see you on the next episode.